I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. little or no prospect of success. All right. When we think about
persevering or perseverance. Mm -hmm. And I know that we all have heard the word in regards to the Christian walk that we must persevere. persevere. All right. We must learn how to keep going when it seems like everything and everybody around us has stopped. All right. We must keep going as believers, as Christians, to keep walking the faith walk even when it seems like nobody else around you have faith. Amen. And we must keep going even when it seems like everybody that used to be in church with you Amen. has decided that they don't want to go to church no more. Amen. That's what perseverance is because, see, you don't go to church for people. That's right. Amen. You don't go to church for uh, not even for your for yourself. You Amen. go to church for for God. Amen. Amen. You go to church to build your a relationship with God. God. Amen. And most folk, that's why some people they fall by the wayside because we're going for all the wrong, wrong reasons. reasons. Amen. Amen. Give you a little history here. The book of Hebrews was was written, but it's also it was written, but it was uncertain. But they actually gave it a date. It says A.D. sixty-seven through sixty-nine. The destination of this letter uh, is uncertain, though Rome is likely uh, the possibility. The book's title is, in the old oldest Greek manuscript. Is simply, it's entitled to the Hebrews. All right. However, its contents further reveals that the letter was written by Jewish Christians. Excuse me, was written to Jewish Christians. The author used the Septuagint Greek translations of the Old Testament. When quoting the Old Testament, indicates that the readers were probably Greek speaking Jews outside of Palestine. The phase, though, from Italy seen, uh, Italy send you their greetings in 13, chapter 13, verse 24, most likely mean that the author, the author was writing to Rome and was including greetings from the Italian believers living away from their homeland. The recipients may have consisted of House churches. In those days, they didn't have uh, a lot of the, the great edifice that that we enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, the nice big plush buildings and, and what have you. Most of them, because church was, was new to them. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and, and Paul and them, they, they were the first ones to uh, to establish church, establish churches. And so a lot of the churches that were established were established in the homes. Amen. And and, 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 and and although they were established in the home, the writer says within, they were house churches which within the larger church commu community at Rome, some of whom were at the verge of forsaking their faith in Jesus and turning back to their former Jewish faith because, per because of persecution and discouragement. They, this letter was written to a people who at the time were going through so much persecution and so much discouragement until they felt it better to return back to doing the thing the way that they were doing it because before they became and tried to be Christians, they didn't have all this persecution. Amen. Amen. They didn't have all of this discouragement. And so, that's how it is sometimes in the body of Christ now when people that come to church, there are too many of us who, be, who as long as you out in the world and doing your thing it seems like nothing is coming against you. Amen. And the truth of the matter is, nothing is coming against Amen. you because why would the devil have to come against you when he already had you? Amen. It's when you decide to change your life and change your, your mindset and change your, your heart and change your mind about living reckless and try to come and better yourself. It's when the enemy decides to oppose you. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. And so, so they were the uh, 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 the, the letter was written to a church of people who were almost at the point of just saying, I give up. Right. And we have that right now today. We have some that don't, aren't thinking that they need to give up. They just gave up. Amen. Amen. They have abandoned the church. They have abandoned the faith. They, had a, they have abandoned God. But at the same time, when the, when the, when the tough get going, they want to call on God. Amen. we do the aspirin. Amen. We can't do God like we do the sinus medicine Amen. when we need it. Yeah. Amen. We can't do God like we, like we, when we're in trouble, we run to the hospital. Amen. 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 See, God, there's going to come a time where uh, uh, when you run to the aspirin bottle, you're not going to get any results. There's going to come a time when you run to the doctor, you're not going to get results. There's going to come a time even if you run to the church, you're not going to get the results that you desire. Why? Because God is tired of us playing around with him. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Uh, 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 the author of the Hebrews is not identified in its original title, nor, nor in the book, though he was known as his readers in, in, in chapter 13, 18 through uh, 24, for some, some reason, his identity was lost by the end of the first century. Subsequently, in the early church traditions, uh, second to the fourth centuries, many different opinions were expressed about the way the Hebrews was written. The opinion that Paul wrote Hebrews did not prevail until the fifth century. And in the purpose of this of this lesson uh, of this writing of, of the Hebrews is uh, is primarily to the Jewish Christians who were undergoing persecution and discouragement. The writer strives to strengthen their faith in Christ by carefully explaining the superiority and the finality of God's revelation and redemption in Jesus Christ. He shows that God's redemptive provisions under the old covenant have been fulfilled and made obsolete by Jesus coming and establishing the new covenant through his atoning death. The writer challenges his readers, firstly, to hold to, their, to the confession of Christ until the end. Secondly, to go on to spiritual maturity. And thirdly, not to turn back to condemnation by abandoning faith in Jesus Christ. Too often, People are not holding fast to the confession of Jesus Christ to the end. Amen. In other words, there are too many of us who are in the church who have, like I said, we, we're not persevering anymore. We're not continuing on because soon as stuff starts happening in our lives, what do we do? We tuck our tails. Amen. We get angry with God. Amen. 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 And we try to put everything that goes on with us, we try to associate it with church hurt. I ain't going back over there no more. I, I went over there and I told the pastor what I was going through and, and, and he told me this, but, but that hurt my feelings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I don't understand why we got so many 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 year old babies in Christ that can't handle anything that's said to them. Amen. 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 Somebody. Amen. It, ought, it ought to be a time that you need to grow up. Amen. And if you're not living right, you're just not living right. Amen. You get mad with somebody that's trying to tell you the truth, that's telling you the truth, Amen. that's trying to help you. That's right, man. I ain't going back over there to higher dimension no more because Bishop too straight. He just telling it too straight. I, don't, I wish he would. No, no. If, if Bishop going to tell you anything, it's going to be straight. Amen. It's going to be the truth. Amen. Amen. Now you have to decide whether you like the truth or you want somebody to lie to you. Amen. If you want somebody to lie to you, you might as well pass up 4802, cavalcade, and keep going down the street. And just pick any one of them over there, and you'll find somebody's gonna tell you nothing to do. Amen. 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 Amen.
year. That's right. Amen, somebody. Amen. Oh, so, so, so God has, has, has blessed the faithful, but we got to understand to that we must continue and hold to our confession of Christ. You the one said God brought you from a mighty long way. You the one who said God changed you. You the one accepted, say that you accepted him as your Lord and your Savior, Jesus Christ. You the one come up here and talking about for God I live and for God I die. You the one. We didn't put no words in your mouth. And then as soon as uh, uh, things don't 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 happen like you think they yeah. ought to happen. I, I don't really believe God did this. Yeah. I don't really believe God did that. Amen. 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 <laughs> How can we not hold fast to our confession? Amen. You the one who made the confession. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 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 I'm not gonna get up here and say anything that's not true. Amen. 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 Like you all. Uh oh. Huh. Amen. Amen. He says, secondly, and he says, he, he urges them, the writer urges the Hebrew nation to move on to spiritual maturity. You got to grow up. Amen. I haven't even got to my lesson Amen. yet. Yeah. We have to grow up, grow up. in God. Amen. 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 In other words, what's causing you to look sideways today ought to not cause you to look sideways next year. Amen. Amen. You, you, ought to, you ought to grow up and it ought to not bother you next year when it come back around because guess what? We ain't preaching no new gospel. Amen. 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 Y'all in here. Amen. Amen. We ain't pre we're not no. preaching no new Nothing gospel. No. It's, the, it's the same thing. Amen. And it comes you're going to hear this sermon again. Somebody going to be preaching it again. Maybe next month. Maybe next year. Maybe yeah. six months from now. But somebody. God going to inspire somebody at some time to deal with the same subject Amen. all over again. Amen. Amen. Through the curtain 
that is his body. Now, what they're referring to, the writer is referring to, that when Jesus was crucified after the crucifixion, do y'all remember them talking about the the uh, veil, veil that was ripped from top to bottom? Uh -huh. Most folk don't realize that when the veil, what it symbolized from them ripping the veil from top to bottom, that veil was the unleashing and the and, and making a entrance in the spirit realm that from for us, our bodies, our spirits can now enter into a place after the ripping of the veil and to a place that we could not enter before having G had Jesus being crucified on the cross. All right. Until then, or before then, the only place that we were destined for, for doom and destruction and to go to hell. All right. But since Jesus came as a blood sacrifice and a blood atonement when the veil was ripped, amen, it ensured our that we could have access to a place where we couldn't have access before, and that was into the heavens of heaven. Amen. That's what he talks about the place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way open for us through the curtain and Jesus' body being ripped and torn. That was the curtain that which we can make access now into a spiritual realm that we did not have access to before. And now we can get to the Father through Jesus Christ. I'm going to say that again. Now we can get to the Father through Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now you know how and why and what it means to get to the Father. Right. What it means to get to the Father. Because the scripture said no one can get to the Father except well, that's by, by, that's right. by Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And through his, his dying on the cross, his suffering and his, his bloodshed, now we can we have access to the Father. Amen. Since we have a great priest over the house of God, it says, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith. Mm -hmm. so if you're going to draw near to God, we must draw near to God with, what does it say? With a sincere heart. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many ulterior motives or in the in the, in the house of God. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna say that again. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna be real nice about it. Uh -oh. Do you do you realize how many ulterior motives are in the house of God on any given Sunday? Amen. And what I'm simply asking you, or simply suggesting to you, uh, is that that everybody that comes to God is not coming to God or coming to church. Because they have a sincere heart. Amen. 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 Everybody that shows up on Sunday morning, it don't mean that you have the purest of intentions Amen. for being here. Amen. 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 Somebody got dressed this morning just to come and see who was going to be here. Yeah. Somebody got dressed this morning just to come and look at the preacher. Somebody came to just to see and critique the world. <laughs> And the dock where it needs to be, yeah. and, and the dock where it needs to be, uh -huh. and the 
across the T where it needs to be. You know how to do all of that. Yes. But yet, your heart, heart is <laughs> your heart ain't right. Amen. Amen. You look like a, you look like you got it together. Amen. 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 You walk in here with your, with your, with your sanctified swagger. And, <laughs> and folk look at you and, and just on the outside you look right. like you got it together. Yeah. You look like you a good brother. You look like you a well put together sister. Yeah. But That's right. Your heart. Your heart. Amen. 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 Just ain't right. Amen. 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 And they used to sing the old song and I went to a meeting one Amen. night and my heart wasn't right. right. Just wasn't right. Something got a hold of me. There's something oh, got a hold of you. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but, but, but you gotta, you can't continue to go to the meeting and your heart leave here your heart still ain't right. Amen. 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 That there has to be a change. Amen. That there has to be uh, some redeveloping of the mind. Amen. And, 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 and Jesus tells us how and what to put our minds says and let this mind be in you, which is also yeah, am I helping somebody in this morning? Which is also in Christ Jesus. I don't know how you feel about it, but I feel pretty good. Alright. He says, and he says, and since we have a great priest, and we know who the priest is, the Amen. Good, that's God. Yeah. Over the house of God, he says, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and full assurance of faith. You are not wavering in yeah. your faith. Yeah. You, are, you are secure in what you believe. Yeah. You, you're not letting anything come and cause you to think differently yeah. about anything that you already know. Amen, somebody. Amen. And there are too many of us, too often time, we come in when things are going good and, and can't nobody shake our faith in. Right. It's easy to have unshakable, undeniable faith yeah. when everything is going yeah. good. Yeah. When you got money for your bills, yeah. when you got food in the refrigerator, when you got gas in the car. Yeah. Amen. When ain't nobody sick in the house, you got sick. It's good to have unfavoring, unwavering faith. Yeah. But when trouble comes right. and the storm of life is raging, yeah. amen, when the children are running amok, yeah. amen, when your job is acting funny, yeah. and when people at the church is acting bad, yeah. then that's when some problems arrive. And you realize that your faith is not as strong as what you profess. Yeah. But when, you're, when, you, when your profession right. has been made perfect, yeah. y'all him in here. I'll say that again. When your profession yeah. has been made perfect, yeah. it doesn't make any difference what's going on in your life yeah. because you got full assurance of the faith that no matter what's happening around me, yeah. even what's happening with me, right. I'm still going to hold on yeah. to what God has said. Yeah. It may not be easy always. Yeah. And truth of the matter it is not easy always, yeah. but I can hold on to my faith, yeah. knowing that God is going to bring me through. Why? Yeah. Because He loves His children. Yeah. Yeah. He loves yeah. us. He loves us. Yeah. He loves us. He says, and with sincere heart and full assurance of faith. All right. Having our hearts sprinkled right. to cleanse us. From a guilty conscience. All right. And having our bodies washed pure with pure water. Yeah. Oh, that's what God would do for us. Yeah. He'll he 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 says, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience. Yeah. Don't you know that God don't have to every time you look around, he don't have to fully submerge us? Amen. He says, sprinkle us. And he's not sprinkling us with water, but he's sprinkling us with Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 He's giving us just enough to cleanse us from the guilty conscience. All right. And uh, washing our bodies with pure water. All right. Amen. Amen. And, and, he, 
and, and the only thing that can wash us with pure water is the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Because the water that we drink is not pure. Amen. 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 It's got Amen. a lot of additives and right. preservatives. Y'all don't even realize that's in there. Amen. They they didn't they didn't there's more chemicals in what we drink, amen, and what we bathe in. Amen. But God has pure water with it's undefiled, it's untainted. Amen. God's hands have I mean a man's hands have not touched. Yeah. Amen. Pure water. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Uh and then it says having our bodies with pure uh, washing with pure water and let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. Let me help you. In verse 22 it said, it said let us draw near to God. Faith and drawing near to God through Jesus Christ is they are they are inseparable. All right. Firstly, faith is defined as sincerely coming to God and believing in His goodness. All right. You'll find a reference to that in chapter eleven, verse six. By coming to God through Christ. One finds mercy, grace, and help, and salvation, sanctification, and cleansing. Secondly, clearly this implies that where there is no drawing near to God in prayer, and fellowship with Christ, there is no saving faith. Jesus himself equates faith with earnest prayer to God in Luke chapter 18 and verse 18. But I'm going to back up again. Clearly, this implies that there is no drawing near to God in prayer and fellowship with, with Christ. If we do not draw near to God, if we do not continue to be faithful to him, there is no way. Amen. I'm going to say it again. There is no way that there will be any fellowship Amen. with God in us. Amen. See, some people come to church and they will leave the church and won't return because they feel as though that they didn't, and they will say these words, I didn't feel nothing. Amen. <laughs> and clearly the word can be going forth. Amen. Amen. But they didn't feel nothing. Amen. You can't feel the presence of God All right. when you don't have any communing with God Amen. prior to Amen. getting here. The love of God and the spirit of God when you don't know God. All right. Amen. 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 I, I think I'll say that again and I'm going to be done. You can't feel the presence of God or the presence of God. Yeah. And most times you will, you will miss what God is saying to you yeah. when you don't have a relationship yeah, with him.
unfaithful to God and faithful to the world hey. and think that you're going to feel God's presence. Hey. You can't be unfaithful to God and faithful to yourself and think you're going to feel God's presence. Hey. And there are too many of us that we're running around doing everything with everybody and we don't give God no time. Hey. Amen. Amen. I, said, well, I know I know I done lost y'all now. Uh, yes. We want to run here.
Because some folk are geared up and they sitting in the front of their living room. That's right. Amen. 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 Religious doing the same old thing. All right. But don't want to meet together to get a word from the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The writer said, let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of. Some already in the habit of not meet. They don't want to meet. Don't nobody want to come to church. All right. Amen. 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 Don't want to come to church. Don't want to don't want to hear nothing. Don't want to give nothing. Don't want to participate. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But we'll take our children and we'll be at the ballpark. Amen. Amen. We'll take our children and let them run around kicking the soccer ball. We'll, yeah. we'll take our children. Yes, we will. We'll All take right. them everywhere but the church. All right. We'll lead our children everywhere but the church. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Some of them right now are at the at the nearest buffet. All right. Y'all ain't hear me. Amen. All of them fat as a hog. But we won't come to church. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. I'm already there. Amen. So let them not give up meeting together. We need to meet in God's house. And, and, and no matter how, how hard it gets, no matter how few the numbers may decline to, writer says, let us not give up meeting together. Yeah, yeah. Because it is something in our coming together yeah. that keeps the devil at bay. Yeah. Because when we can hear word from the Lord, yeah. yes, the writer says, and some are in the habit of doing, but let us Encourage one another. Yeah. See, when we come to church, it's not only to hear a word from the Lord, yeah. but it is that we can come together and encourage one another. Yeah. Because the truth of the matter is that some of us get beat up on during the week. Yeah. Some yeah. of us get lied on during the week. Yeah. Some of us have troubles and issues that are going on during the week. But if God, if God allows for us to come together, it's a time for us to reflect on our week. It's a time for us to give God praise for bringing us through another week. And we're here to encourage one another, yes, to hang on in that. Brothers and my sisters, this morning, that's what I want to close by telling you, be encouraged. Yeah. That whatever you're going through, God sees and he knows. Yeah. And that God will help you, yes, if you just hold on to his unchanging hand. Yeah. Yes, Minister Vincent texts me, yes. On the way to work. Hey! But he's here in the 11 o'clock service because he didn't let a flat tire right. dictate to him if he was going to come today. Hey! He had a made up mind that I'm going on anyhow. Y'all hey! don't hear me. Hey! Hey! And that's the kind of attitude we must have in the body of Christ. Hey! We cannot allow any and everything to stop us. Hey! Of the enemy yeah. and to make sure that you get discouraged right. to yeah. make sure you think that the end uh, your end is imminent yeah. but the truth of the matter is uh, it is imminent yeah. but it's not today right. tell your neighbor not today yeah. God yeah. is still here yeah. and since we serve a living God yeah. he will my brothers and the Lord is all about encouragement. Yeah. That's why he sent the Hebrew writer to encourage us yeah. and call us to a place of perseverance. Yeah. Because I know it gets hard on the journey. I know that the hills get hard to climb. Yeah. I know sometimes my brothers and sisters.
sisters. I, I know sometimes we shed tears. I know sometimes, yes, we feel like throwing up our hands. But it's all right to throw up your hands. But just know who you're throwing them up to. Yes, you got to learn how to lift up holy hands. And give God praise for even the best. Touch your possession. 
directions. He has a purpose. And it's not for you when you're going through to give up on God. It's for you to keep going when the enemy comes in like a flood. The Bible says that he will lift up a standard against the enemy. And I'm so glad that I serve a God that knows how to keep the enemy away from me, away from my house, away from my children, away from my church. I serve a God. Yes, I do. That knows how to tell the devil, stay away. Grandmama go. <laughs> That's how you know they ain't going to church. Amen. 
Or, you know, my grandfather used to pastor over there all for 59 and, and, and so and so and so. That ain't what I asked you. Amen. Good your grandfather pastored there, but what you attend? Amen. Folk don't want no, they don't want, they don't want no form of, they don't even have a form of godliness. Amen. 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 But folk would rather you just leave them alone. Don't say nothing to them about God. Amen. My friend Patrick Crowder lost his life a couple of weeks ago to his own son. Amen. Because the argument that ensued over him going to church. Amen. And his son stabbed him to death. 22 years old, life gone. Amen. Children don't want to have nothing to do with God. Amen. And we, we, we Amen. raised them. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Me and my brother was talking in Colorado about it. And he said, man, I don't argue with nobody about no church. I don't argue with nobody about it. even the kids. I don't argue with them. They don't want to go. Out. They don't want to go. But that ain't the way I was raised. That's right. Amen. 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 And going to church certainly didn't, didn't hurt me. Amen. 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 And I, I believe if you living under my roof, you don't even have an option. Amen. 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 Isaiah said it like this. As, as for me and my, my house, house, we going to serve the Lord. Amen. 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 I'm talking about if you're living under my roof, right. you don't have an option. <laughs> Amen. 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 The dogs are saved. The cats are saved. The goldfish. Everybody. Everybody going to be saved. Amen. We've lowered the standard because we don't want to argue. How are you going? How are you arguing with something that you brought into That's the right. world? The dog, if you was brought, if you brought them up right, it shouldn't be an argument. Amen. If they living under your roof, you paying the bills. Amen. Amen. They don't have no choice. Amen. I thank God. My parents were harsh parents, and I thank God for them because they set a standard that wasn't going to be broken. Amen. And they, my mother and my father, they backed each other. Whatever one one said, that's what went. Amen. 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 And my father told us that we we don't want to go to church. That's fine. That's day. But you ain't gonna sit up in his house on Sunday morning. That's right. They was gonna find us kindly let you walk outside the door, and they was gonna lock the door. You can sit on the front porch until they got home, but you wasn't gonna be in that house. Amen. We got all these little demons in our houses, right. and we just letting them sit up in there parlaying. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. They can be precious to you, but they're demons. That's right. Amen. You're right. Amen. You're right. Okay, how precious your baby is to That's you, right. the devil. Amen. Don't want nothing to do with God, the devil. Amen. Either you for Christ or you anti Christ. Amen. Amen. Ain't no in between. That's right. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. May God keep you in his eye. <laughs> Come on, give God a great day. He's a number in my soul. Amen. Amen.